Hello everyone and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie the peacock spider and this is a simple spider pattern. Looks really natural and only uses a few materials. There are a few techniques though that you have to use to get this to look exactly the right way. So the materials I'm going to use is this for hook, this partridge, standard dry SLD2 in the size 16. Works well for this pattern. The thread is the Nano Silk from Samplefly. This one is the 18 knot in beige. You could also use any other color. It's just going to sink down right into the peacock and the hackle that we're going to use. So you won't even see the color of the thread. Then the body material is going to be some natural peacock curl. We only use two hurls for this fly. For the hackle, I'm using some black or dark soft hackle. And in order to wind on these really small feathers, I would suggest you use the hackle pliers. And to rib the fly, I'm going to use some ultra wire, size small in black. To start this off, I'm going to start a little bit behind the eye, put down a few turns of thread, and then we can cut off the excess. And right on my way down, I'm going to tie in the rib, and this is going to be this small ultra wire. Here I'm using black, but you could also use any other color that you want. You can go a little bit more contrasting with gold or silver or even a really bright color as chartreuse. And here I'm tying this in on my side, going down to about just slightly behind the point of the hook. I don't want these flies to be too long. Then I've selected two peacock curls, cut off the tips. And I'm going to tie these in the whole length of the body on my way up. And here, try to bind these down as well as possible. You will always have a few fibers sticking out, especially with this really thin thread. And then before building up the body, I'm going to tie in the hackle. And here I've chosen a feather that is about the right size with fibers extending about the hook gap in length. And I'm going to tie this in towards the front, right near the eye. I don't really know how to call this style, but you do like a figure eight. And here I'm just going to do it again. So I'm going to cross the shank with the feather and then one turn, then one turn behind to make it stand out like this. It's the exact same way as you tie on some eyes made out of mono on, on small nymphs and then I'm going to bring back the stem with my thread and tie this down really well and once you've done this you can then cut off the excess and now I'm going to go up to the eye again right behind the hackle and here I'm going to pull this away so you can see the peacock I'm going to wind on the opposite way and this is I think it's easier to wind on the peacock the opposite way instead of the wire, so just to wind this on, we don't want a too thick and full of a body, we just want to have these nice fibers, these peacock curls sticking out a little bit, and then once you reach the thread, cross the peacock curl one time over, then in front, over in front, and I do this three times and then if you pull you can just break off the hurls and now I'm going to wind on the rib as well and this is going to go the right way and here I want quite close turns it is going to make a more durable body then once you reach the thread tie this one off as well few turns, then bend and break this away and then what I do is to spin my bobbin clockwise and this is going to cord up the thread and I'm going to go back a few turns so now I'm here at the one third point of the body and then I'm going to grab the hackle with my hackle pliers and I'm going to start wind this 
towards the back, one full turn in front. Then I'm going to angle this back and do about two turns till we come up to the thread and then I'm going to tie this off and go the opposite way with the thread right up to the eye and here we can unclip the hackle pliers and then pull everything back and make sure you get in a few turns right behind the eye this way your materials will stay a little bit set to the back and you can then just pull out or pull off the hackle tip there we have it. the fly is nearly done we just need to do a whip finish two three turns pull tight cut off the thread and there we have this little spider that looks really natural the peacock curl makes or has this really nice effect to it and also as you wind on the hackle going a little bit down into the body or the thorax this looks a way lot more natural than if you would wind it on just in front the insects have their legs sticking out from the body and not the head so there we have the peacock spider thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time